Yeah, that's pretty weird. So, hey, everybody out there in Wildcat Nation, welcome Hello. to the uh, Breakfast Club 20 years later. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Molly Ringwald uh, character didn't make it too much vodka and Vicodin. Yikes. So she didn't survive. But the, <laughs> the rest of us are all here. We're Come on. We all knew that's working. what was going to happen, right? Is this working? <laughs> it's not working for me. I don't, working for me. I, I, I've, I've shared it. Yeah. Working for Tom? I don't know. Well. Yep. Hmm. This has been the nature of the beast. Lately. I promise. No, we've got four viewers, and, and it's I've usually you, Lauren. It. And I'm like, hey, here's how you do I it. Know. And I'm over here boomering it up that. with you. And it's so. not like I have a weird phone or anything. I mean, I have you know one of these phones people one buy. Of these, one of these phones. Phones. When were you born, Lauren? Eighty four. Wow. Technically, I'm a millennial. There, depending on what age brackets you look at. But I was born in '84 in Houston, Missouri. Yeah, so, so it takes a while. Yeah, yeah. Add a decade. So you're yeah. well, well, you can be an honorary Gen Xer with yeah, the rest I'm of us. Yeah, pretty Gen X. Yeah, you kind of are. There's some debatable. <clears throat> there's some moving dates about when millennial occurs. They came out with a term, and I don't remember what it was, but it is kind of that group between millennial and Gen X. It's about a four-year. Yeah. It's kind of like 78 to 84 kind of a thing. Yeah. Yes, because we basically grew up in the same world that everybody else did until, because when we were in high school, when you like, didn't all have the internet, and, internet yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. was beginning, it wasn't an everyday deal. So we, um, I'm in that group. And you took care of yourself after school. Yes, I took care of myself. You had to make a grilled in. cheese yeah. sandwich and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> open a can of Campbell's tomato soup and watch yes, the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. I a lot show. of tomato soup in college. Rocky and Bullwinkle, oh my gosh. I love Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh my gosh. Go-Go go Gophers were some of my favorite. <laughs> so I'm pretty gosh. sure they'd get banned now. Go-Go Gophers? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, Go-Go Gophers. They were they were an Indian, Native American, Second whatever, tribe. Native American tribe, but they were Gophers, and um, there was the colonel and his sergeant that were always <gasps> trying to catch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but I just saw the reruns. I wasn't alive when they first came out. You were probably alive when they first I don't, came out. I think they you? were made in the '60s, so oh, okay. I don't think so. No, but um, but one of the but the 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 uh, um, not the Indian chief, but but the other one had like a thick Native American accent. So I'm pretty sure that's like not. They don't like that. Which not, yeah, that's. It'd be like, what did he say? Him that's, say, that's Colonel. Not there was something that yeah. came out the other day. It was the Cherokee Indian said they didn't want Jeep to use their use their name anymore jeep cherokee jeep cherokee oh. yeah i saw that was it yesterday i think okay we don't have internet real well so whatever pops up that one piece of news um, that's what you grasp that's on. what you grasp onto and you go, okay that's the news welcome to the country <laughs> why are the flags at half mass today <laughs> that is Pretty fantastic half a million people that died of covid okay I really yeah. i wonder too i was on a run yeah, yesterday yeah, the, uh, the biden administration released a statement that said in honor of donald trump murdering half a million americans <laughs> he did not say that. say that well. well that was the clear implication oh, okay yeah. That uh, they're lowering the flags to half mast. Yep, that, that, that's oh. that's just never going to stop. They're yeah. just going to keep. <laughs> Everybody's got to have a bad guy. I'm just <sighs> not going to ask anymore. <laughs> yeah, look what you did, Lauren. Look what I did. Here Here's we were talking about childhood cartoons, and next thing you know, boom, politics. Boom. Here it is. <laughs> it reared its ugly head. The politics. Uh, well, it I just want to say thank you, son, for being out today. Yes. This is just beautiful uh, after the last week <laughs> oh um, yeah cars in the road and ice and snow and everything else is such a blessing this morning to wake up and yes. the lord has given us sun folks the sun was warm there mm -hmm. was no wind that's right the birds were chirping yes and i am ready for spring I yes but if you Not really want to understand how adaptable malleable um the human uh mind body is think about it you know when it's been 80 degrees all summer if you know it's 60 you, gra it. you grab a jacket yeah. you know mm -hmm. yeah. and it's been zero and you know i'm ready for sure it's like shorts and t-shirts right around like, in 30 well, even, on now, even last week yeah so we get the first round of snow and then we wake up and it's negative 15 mm -hmm. yeah. <gasps> but it was no wind right and it was sunny and i remember walking That's outside right. that day and going this isn't too bad because <laughs> yeah, it was sunny yeah. and, and the wind was gone. And it was yeah. like, I can deal with this. Yeah. 
But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pulling my coats off, you know, and it's like <laughs> 28 degrees. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. burn it up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so. oh. Well, and you know, to be fair though, uh, we were actually dealing with this before Monday because, oh, like, yeah. we started getting what snow on was it Wednesday or Thursday well, we had, or the week before? We had a week of ice before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Super yeah. slick roads. So it was. I mean, we've been going through this for. Like, it, was, it feels like for. It was a full blown yeah. two weeks at least. We had two weeks of winter. And then I <laughs> hardcore winner. My wife and I were really smart because we decided to move during all of that. <laughs> well, to be fair, you didn't decide to move during that. Yeah, you had. <laughs> we had to during move that. during that. So oh you didn't God. make a terrible decision. It just it was bad. It, was it turned out to be a terrible oh decision. My gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was. It was brutal. It um, was. We yeah. had a lot of people with frozen pipes yeah. and you know running out of yeah. propane and uh oh, bad. threats of rolling power outages and good job webster county wow. for conserving power and not having to have blackouts yeah good yeah. job thank you webster county electric for that yeah. <laughs> so i have one of those hvac units that has dual fuel so i've got a propane tank and i've got a heat pump mm -hmm. i don't know what the deal is we put the thing in five years ago but if we haven't used the heat pump in a while it doesn't it it doesn't work right it just blows like cold kind of not six, freezing cold but not freezing cold but like 60 degree air it sounds, like it's, doing not, that too. It sounds like it's not switching to your alternative heat well it's not but but when it's on alternative heat it's fine so like that's the problem so, it had been running on propane for a couple weeks now yeah Whereas in the fall, it was running on the heat pump. It was fine. It now that it's different, I think. Well, it does, but that's not it. Because we wake up this morning, it's 60 degrees in our house. Because we because it didn't get under 30. Yeah. So the propane didn't kick on. Yeah. So it was just, so it switched back to heat pump. And now it won't get the house above 60 degrees. If this I is could get like, Shana to go with that, I would live in a 60 degree home all of I the could, time. That I sounds could, amazing yeah i could do that too but bundle yeah. up kids yeah. yeah in the winter time Get a blanket. I remember when i was a kid mom would say put on some long underwear because it's gonna get cold tonight oh yeah, yeah. We, it wasn't yeah. like hey we're gonna crank the heat the house heat no. up to like you know we had a wood degrees furnace or whatever if oh, i yeah. call the hvac guys out they'll fix it they'll fix it but they have to fix it like two times a year wow. that's weird i don't know weird. i don't know what it is either and they say they can't figure it well, out well this house that we just moved into it has a heat pump in mm -hmm. it and i I love it because it it doesn't it's not like this hot dry heat that's coming out right. of it either it's kind of nice. they work really well to about thirty five outside and then that's when it starts it can't not, do it. It's not a bit. working as efficiently because I think I've I've tried to have a home inspector explain to me heat pumps before I should ask an HVAC guy but and he did but it wasn't enough that I could like regurgitate my understanding it. is it's just your air conditioner unit that runs backwards yeah. Probably because yeah. if you you know if you go out so your air conditioner is running you go outside by it, it it's hot it's blowing hot air out yeah. your air conditioning unit outside mm. this is just it's running in reverse oh it's pulling the warmth okay it's that pulling the sense. warmth out of the outside air when it gets too cold there's no warmth in the outside air right. yes. that's why you have to switch and to then that switches to alternative heat correct yeah but mine's not working right anyway so I'll be calling the HVAC guy like hey buddy come fix it they have always fixed it at no charge they've always said oh, it's under warranty you know so and every time oh. they say every time we repair it, it extends your warranty a year. Are you, what? That's what they say. So mm. that's a good company. Mm. Huh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Mm. Yeah. So they. Keep so we've gone from out cartoons it. to millennials to politics to H bumps. Having a very awesome. random, like usual conversation. <laughs> yeah, <that's normal. laughs> the most normal thing about this is how random it is. <laughs> hey, so the farmers markets aren't going to start until like what? July. July. Here's July. Mm. here's why. So. I caught a little bit of flack over this over the weekend. I wasn't happy about it. It's a good way to put that. Um, so in May, there's virtually no produce. There's like plants. <laughs> there's lettuce. <laughs> and lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, it's still very much COVID and people are still very much nervous. Some people are very nervous about the situation. So we thought we'll start in June. Well, someone had already <laughs> reserved the pavilion like the first week of January. They don't let you reserve the pavilion before the new year. Oh, yeah. So when okay. the new year starts, and I understand Somebody that, got busy. Because somebody will show up at January. City Hall and be like, I'd like to reserve it this Saturday for the next 25 <laughs> it's, years. It's They'll the, do it's, that. It's, it's the uncensored Rogersville farmer market. That's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, these people have had a family reunion there on the second Saturday in June for 
Ever. 20 years yeah. or whatever. And so they go in the first week and they reserve it. And I get it. And so basically we're like, well, we can't start in June because we can't spend money that we're raising on like a tent and putting people out in the hot sun. I have a doesn't. tent. Do you have a tent? Big, yeah. Big fireworks stand tent. I'm going to talk about that. I did not 40 know 40 by 60. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. That's an interesting development. Mm-hmm. We got space um, farmers market in June. Folks. We got space out here at Jamestown too. So, so um, <laughs> just a thought. Well, we need to. I didn't know that. We need to start getting the events rolling here in town. Probably. Oh, it's some, coming. It's coming. First, it's first coming. Friday back at Jamestown. Yes. Picking up in April. So, okay. Good. Not March, good. but April. So, awesome. Good. Yeah. We. Yep. Yeah, good. that'll be coming out. In fact, they're having a meeting today to kind of finalize all the plans for that. Awesome. So, you may want to read the almanac. Excellent. Right. <laughs> read the almanac for April. Hey, well, you got, know there'll be a tornado on the first one, right? And, and then I remember I getting it's six to be inches wet the first of April. I was getting what the almanac hot. says. We've gotten well, six Easter inches weekend, of too. snow that's good in for May. Me. Yes. Yeah. We've gotten half a foot of snow in May. Oh, yeah. I remember it snowing. Oh, yeah. so, I remember snow on May 5th. Actually, uh, almanac, like seven years ago. Or yeah, the almanac it. looks really good for this area past March. Did the almanac correctly predict this February? It did, actually. Did it correct, really? It didn't predict the amount of snow because that was like a kind of an, an anomaly, but it did predict that we were going to have a warm snap. Yeah. Up until next week, I think the 27th, and then the first part of March is supposed to get like really cold. Here's Shut what my mom. Mouth. Here's what my mom premonitioned. It's supposed to be colder oh, than the, than it's been. So my what? mom, I asked my no. mom, I was like, well, I asked my mom, I'm like, when do you remember winter being this bad? And she said the year, a year or so after your brother was born, and he was born like 79. She's like, we had three winters in, the winter in a row. 79. 79 January was. She said it was horrible. Insane. Three winters I was three. in a row. I don't really remember. My sister was born January 23rd, 1979. So we remember this. You we were, remember. We, we were driving baby. in the blizzard to the hospital to see see her. That's epic. My wow. dad took me up there. In the winter of 79. So, we were hungry. Just barely alive. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> so my mom said, don't be surprised if you have several winters in a row that are bad. Because that's that's what's happened. And I that happened... In the years leading up to Evelyn being born, there were three winters in a row that we got pretty good snow and pretty good cold because I remember when I was manager at Macy's, the loss prevention and me chasing a shoplifter in zero degree weather <laughs> with right. the Springfield PD. <laughs> <laughs> and running in zero, not good on your lungs. No, no, it's, no. it's tough. No, it's not I good. used I used to like going out when it was cold, like zero degrees, and go for a run. And I now, like going camping in it. Now I go to the gym and hit the treadmill. Yeah, it's not. I safe. just can't do Your it. Your lungs. It I hurts. struggled yesterday. It was the first outside run I'd had in weeks, mm-hmm. and it was like ugh, wind. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready to go back inside. <laughs> I've become a fair weather runner. In one my of old the age. worst. One of the worst winters I remember. A buddy of mine and I, we were like, "Hey, let's go camping tonight because it'd be nice, yes. you know." Yeah. And so, it'd be fun. And to so be fair, to death. that, that be year we all decided that we were going to camp every month of the year. That was. That was our kind of our goal. So this was January uh, at, the, at the tail end. It was the very last month. And we were like, hey, let's go camping. So we decided to go camping on New Year's, mm-hmm. you know, kind of do the whole New Year's Eve thing. So we go out there and it got 14 below. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, it was cold. It's not camping. That's, that's surviving. It, it, you was made surviving. A, you made it was surviving. You made a new friend for life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, man, <laughs> cool. I'm going to conserve our body. <laughs> Actually, he has been one of my. Is that a double sleeping a bag? <laughs> Single? I don't care. He hands would be between two pillows. <laughs> Whoa! You see that Bears game? Those aren't pillows. <laughs> okay, I really slammed dunk that one. Oh my god! Uh, uh, plane trains and automobiles yeah, for, the, for the ladies out there that yeah, don't know how to quote movies. Actually, <laughs> I introduced I introduced Sam to planes. Trains and Automobiles the other day. Classic Thanksgiving Man, movie. I tell you what, that's a good movie. That is a good movie. It really is. Do you yeah, know lots that, of Christmas movies, but that's your Thanksgiving movie. You right know there's there. a four-hour cut of that movie? Really? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. They, they shot enough enough of a film for it to be a four-hour movie. I would there's a really four cool. Hours. There's a really cool YouTube video out there where they talk about that film and how much they shot because the story was so, it was so involved and it went into 
couple of different plot points and everything. Mm. And you can actually see there's a, a segment in the film when Steve Martin and John Candy are at the, the train station at the very end. And John Candy has a black eye. <laughs> and they there was a scene where Steve Martin, like, cold cocks uh, <laughs> John Candy. And they took it out of the film, but they left the, bl- the black eye still in the film. Yeah, yeah. I think that, isn't so, that on the cover? Isn't yeah, the black eye? It is. Yeah, it's it funny. Is. And he's but got the black cut, eye. Yeah. They cut all this out. And the, huh. the story is, is that originally in the movie, the wife thought that Steve Martin was having an affair with this woman named Dell. Oh. And he, she cooked this up because she was like, he's gone. He's not Del? coming home or Del. whatever. Dell. Because that's his yeah. name. Del Griffith. Yeah, Del yeah. Griffith. Yeah. There was a band that came out called the Del Griffiths. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that's nice. So anyways, that's why his wife is crying at the very end of the film. She's crying because she finally meets John Candy, who uh, is actually a, a, a real individual. Yeah. And so that's, so there's some plot holes that they kind of, and you always look at it and go, oh, that's wonder. It's weird why they made that choice. Well, but you didn't care why. because it was funny. It was because they shot two movies. Basically. They shot basically two movies. Well, now I got to go find this. Yeah, I know, it's right? pretty cool. I've never, I've seen chunks of that movie, yeah. but I've never watched. It's I don't fantastic. think the whole thing start to finish. And they're just cold the whole time. Yeah. Speaking of cold. Yes. yes. They're just cold. Yeah. Hey, and did, you were talking about three winters yes. in a row. You know, it's interesting because climate does change. Sure it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. I read an article. We call it weather. <laughs> yeah, we call it weather. Yeah. Especially in Missouri. Oh, no, 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 no. That's That's not not climatologists yeah. will say, no. Even a third grader knows that weather and climate are not the same. <laughs> oh, well, look, we, we have, have a special guest today. Oh. Look at that. Look at that Come tall see. drink of water. <laughs> oh, boy. And that is Tom's wife. Yes. Show. <laughs> Just to be clear. That's not Dale Griffith. <laughs> Yeah. So I read a, an article that was telling me why we had this cold. Okay. And it's because of glo- global warming. Okay. Right? Because the global warming caused this upsurge of heat from the Atlantic to displace the Arctic air. So that's the Arctic vortex. So it's cold because it's warm. Okay. And it has been this cold before. Science, people. <laughs> oh, it's my science. gosh. It's science. Oh, it's, I don't... it's cold because it's warm <laughs> i don't even that's know all i got for you folks yeah, I, 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 <laughs> that was that's the 30 second edition there was much more to I'm the sure article it was longer than it that yeah way longer <laughs> causation does not equal correlation <laughs> nope <laughs> strike that reverse <laughs> you're welcome no problem continue so <laughs> so is first friday like the like first like big event that we have going on around here or do we have some other events Gosh, going I don't on? Know. there's probably, probably something going on before it's... april 4th but yeah i don't know because i was thinking you know well um when is the when is the the ffa when do they do their plant sale over there at is that in may i want to say it's in may because it usually is the same time we would do the first farmer's market so it's probably like the second Saturday in May would be my guess. That's a guess. So they're having something over at the high school then, so you can get your plants. Your, your plants. starts in oh wait, is it in the cold snap in seventies? It was cold due to global cooling. Okay, that is true, Thank Barry. You for that clarification, Barry. Thanks, Barry. That's why. Uh, so it was cold because it was cold. Oh, you remember see, that now movie? I'm confused. I well, just don't know Barry. why Al Gore invented this global warming thing in the first place. Do you remember that movie called Ice Man? Man. In trouble. I remember Encino Man. I remember Encino well, Man. I yeah. remember Frozen Caveman Warrior. Yes. Do you remember? <laughs> is that a do you remember Ice Man? It had Timothy Hutton in it, and it's about they thaw this guy from the. I do the remember ice, this. Yeah, I do. Right, and not too different from Encino but a Man. Lo- there were a lot of movies made back then because they thought that the world was going to go into like another a, ice age. A, a, oh, another that makes ice sense. Age. That would make sense why they made. And all so those there was movies. a lot of movies back in the late seventies and early eighties because that was the idea was that we were all going to go into an ice age. Now so, we have scorched earth movies. Yeah. Do you guys remember like uh, Phil Hartman from Saturday Night Live? Yeah. 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 One of my remember favorite, Phil? favorite, favorite <laughs> comedians the whole really? time. I, you know where I'm going. Oh, yeah. I know where you're going. Um, I know where you're going. Tragically murdered by his wife, by the way. Yes. Phil Hartman? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he was. That's, that's not a, funny. Yeah. Several. But he had a character uh, that was the frozen caveman lawyer. Oh, yes. I yes, remember. Frozen caveman yeah. lawyer. Yeah. Your Honor, yeah. I'm just a frozen caveman <laughs> attorney. That's pretty good. I don't know anything. 
Except that if a man cuts himself on a stapler, he's entitled to $50,000. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was a great character. It was a great character. I loved mm-hmm. it. And that was, was like one the, of my favorites. That was 90s, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was early, 80s. early 90s, late 80s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Speaking of Barry, though, since he's commented, he's opened himself up to being ridiculed on the show. <laughs> um, not really. I want Barry to do a butchering episode. Yes. So if any K-Rodge viewers out there are interested in learning how to butcher meat. I already yeah. trademarked. <laughs> yes, I did. Woods Butcher <laughs> and Woods Butcher. And Will... Uh, has the website. Yeah, we already bought the website, backwoodsbutcher.com. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Comment, I like, and share. Up backwood to see butcher. Backwoodsbutcher.com. Yeah, we totally want to see it this week on backwoodsbutcher.com. <laughs> All right, I got to tell a story. I probably shouldn't tell it. Uh-oh, is Barry's this going to get us banned on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, the other day, probably. we were <laughs> business managers going to pull We up. were all talking on, on chatting about um, a very... Uh, professional things about business uh i think this was on saturday <laughs> no there are long group chat? Was, uh, yeah okay. Okay. i had a long group chat and so we're doing all this well i was trying to pull our truck off of our driveway <laughs> and so i ran out of gas oh no so i called barry because barry's my new neighbor and i called barry He's like, and I said, uh, great I this said, is how it's going to be with tom i said <laughs> i said hey barry i said can i get like do you have like a little bit of gas so i can get back into <laughs> just, town just a little bit so I, he's geez. like, yeah, just come on down to the house. So I drive down and I get there and not like 10 minutes earlier where we out here, like talking about all this stuff. And I pull up to Barry's barn and he has got a heifer hanging from the back of his truck and he's gotten it. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. I don't know why. I'm so you were typing all this really intelligent stuff on this <laughs> message while you were out here gotten a heifer. And it was just, it was amazing oh, to see this guy gosh. can do. This guy can do business and, and, butcher. and, and butcher, butcher at the same Barry time. Barry the Butcher. Us hillbillies just, are amazing. He's the business butcher. I just butcher business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to share that, Barry's Barry. Barry's like, I'm never going to comment uh, again. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Save the oysters for me, Barry. Oh, gross. <laughs> the trick oh, is you cut, them, you cut them way up high. Oh. You know what movie that is? Oh, what is um, that? I don't know that one. No. no? Which one? Uncle Buck. Oh, uh, you know, I've seen that movie. I actually, it's on my list to watch. I wanted, You've never seen Uncle Buck? No, I've seen it. Okay. It was just a long time ago, and I wanted to show it to... I tell you what, once you take this quarter and go down and have a rat and all that thing off your face. <laughs> that's one of my favorite yes, lines. That's a great line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. That lady has the, is yes, the principal, yep, right? Yes. She has a big mole on her. And then he's the leader of the polka band in uh, Home Alone. Home Alone. Oh, polka, polka, polka. Mm-hmm. You know, we're big in Sheboygan. We're big in Sheboygan. <laughs> Polka, polka. Yeah, no? speaking of that, everybody up north is like, you guys are babies. This is normal winter. Deal That's with all it. the same director, too, by the way. Uh, right? Yes. John. John Landis, right? John Landis. Not Landis. No, um, um, what's his name? Because that's a crossover character, right? Wasn't Dale Griffith? Yeah, kind of. Was Actually, a, it, was he, was he the same guy? This is the most ADD show we have ever done. <laughs> oh, I doubt Every that. Every one of this our is shows. about normal. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph, for saying we're on a roll, but this is very ADD even for us. Did you guys know about winter? John Hughes. It was a John Mary Hughes. Very movie. John yeah. Butcher. Pretty and Pink. Butcher. Mountain Let me Oysters. give you a topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, can anybody name another John Hughes film? Pretty and Pink. I Breakfast Club. Did, I think he did that. Yeah, he did. Weird Science. He did so oh, many good ones science. back then. Uh, so Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I don't think he did. Did Fast he not do that one? I don't know. But you know, the people up north think we're babies. But I'm listening to um, the Unashamed podcast with the the duck guys down in Louisiana, and they're like, "It was too slick. We couldn't get out of our house." I'm like, Come on. I mean, you oh, know, yeah, so they t- can't right. do. You know, Texas like Texas. Come on. They I can't deal. Got, they got nothing. Somebody <laughs> made a good point about Texas, so they don't winterize their pools yeah, and pipes and nope. stuff yep and so i mean you're like pool freezes and pools should not freeze no, so they're that, that's bad. your water heaters are in the attic down yes. there oh. and so if that puppy bus yep bad and, news. it's all coming and down. apparently they converted a significant amount of their power grid to wind turbines and they froze. That froze. That yeah. froze. So that contributed to their power shortage. And then they and I would have people like, well, there's wind turbines in wyoming they don't freeze well yeah because they're built to be in wyoming right not Texas. And then they had to use like uh, fossil fuels to uh, spray all of the wind turbines to get the ice off of them. Are you telling me we're not quite ready to go green? I don't know. Hey, we got a comment. Yes. Uh, I think 
I think it's Emma. It's Emma. Yeah. If you haven't uh, do a sh- this Saturday, Rogersville Community Breakfast, yeah, our hosting nice. location is the best. Where's it at? Tell us Story about time it. coffee. Story time hey, coffee. I was I was just getting ready to go there, but we kept taking these tangents. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird journey today. Okay, Chris, tell us about that. Yeah, so if y'all didn't watch uh, Emma and the, the 4-H crew, they did a great show on Sunday. Go back and watch that. Um, but yeah, they've they've uh, they've helped educate us on f- uh, food insecurity. Yep, which and is so a very real thing. It is a very real thing, and it's whoa, something whoa, whoa, whoa. that food insecurity. Yeah. What is that? People ahead, who Lauren. basically don't know where their next meals and food is going to go. Yeah. Oh, okay, your, okay. your ability to get food is insecure. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, gotcha. Just like it says, Tom. The terminology <laughs> was. Uh, yeah, the terminology. Well, honestly, I thought he was giving us a softball to hit there. Like, <laughs> go ahead and tell me what food insecurity <laughs> is. Like, what is food insecurity? <laughs> you mean not being up. able well, to eat? The yeah. first time I thought they said food insecurity, I'm like, okay, so tomatoes and security. tomatoes and guns. Yeah. <laughs> Food insecurity. Food and security, right. tomatoes yeah. and guns. You should make a shirt. So, yeah. So, anybody anybody that wants a free breakfast this Saturday from 7 to 10 a.m., come through the drive through window at Storytime Coffee. It's drive through. Drive only. through. Yep. You do not have to buy anything. Just just come through the window and say, hey, I'd like some breakfast. And there's a free breakfast for you. What do yeah. we have? Do we know what we're having? What the menu is? I think I heard something about biscuits and gravy. B and G. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. What? So, yeah. Drive through, I do burritos. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you can talk to Emma for the next go around. Home of, <laughs> home of the phone burrito. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great. I'm, I'm super proud of those kiddos with 4-H. Yes. They're doing good work. Yeah, they do a good job. Great job educating us on this topic, and then also coming through and providing food. So hopefully, it's, hopefully, this is the first of many other forays into this kind of. This is a cool little show. Yeah. They had a guest that drove down from Columbia to be on the show, and all kinds of stuff. It I've got a, a I've deal. got it in my queue to watch. I haven't yep. had much time between Sunday night and now to watch it. So I'm excited to go back. Yeah, I watched Give it sh- later plug. Sunday night, and then I watched yeah. Chain Gang Monday morning. I, I trying pull- to get caught up. <laughs> yep. I pulled it up and hit live, and my phone rang, and then I was on the phone for an hour, and then I did the same thing with Chain Gang. I pulled it up and hit like watch, phone rang, and I was on the phone for an hour. Yep. So mm. it was that I, kind of weekend. I hit the button, and then I set the phone down, went to sleep, got up, had coffee, and ate breakfast the next morning, and I think it finally loaded. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to be seeing a lot of Tom here at Jamestown. Tom's yeah. Tom's Welcome to where there's internet. <laughs> that is why the wife is here because uh, she has to do work today. And she, she's, she's in your office. She's using my office. Today. <laughs> We're making a phone call to uh, Nomad. Nomad today. To you got to use my link, brother. Brother. <laughs> brother. So he can get use $50 my off link. of his next month. Well, you have to resend me that referral. Okay, because it gives you like $50 off a year. What? Yes, I've been telling what? you this. No, you not listen to commercials on the radio? I've been thinking about that side by side so much. Uh, I've been thinking I'm about jealous. Gosh, I funny. am so jealous. Two yeah. seater? Four seater? Three seater. Three seater. Yeah. Three. How does that work? There's, there's bucket three. in the back. It's not a seat. <laughs> no, there's three in the front. <laughs> oh. And then there's. Oh, a, okay. It's three right across the front. Yeah. And then you've got then there's a, bed. a bed. Yeah. Does it tilt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four wheel drive? Oh, yeah. I'm not on soundboard. Oh, Oh, my gosh. It goes like it goes like fifty five miles an hour. Yeah, you gotta be. Those are real. <laughs> and it goes really fast real. Fast too. It's not a golf cart, people. Well, yeah. what was don't, funny? Hey, don't power slide. I did that once. Yeah. and Just about destroyed my friend's legs. So, so here's oh. what's funny. Yesterday, we you know, I, we're, yeah, we're we're settling everything up <laughs> at S and H, which they were awesome to deal with. Good. Um, so we had to buy a lawnmower. They'd make a great sponsor of K. You know, S and H would be a great sponsor because and. I almost wore my S and H hat today because they gave all of us a hat and and they have a nice jingle and they have a great they do. <laughs> but anyways, we got in there and I worked with a guy named Blake. He did a great job and we got it and got everything like ready to go. And so they were asking me, "Hey, uh, so if the guy can bring it next week, are you okay with that?" And I said, "Well, it'd be nice if he had it by this week if he could." And Michelle goes, he just wants to play with it. I'm like, you're dead. I'm right. I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. That's why I'm buying this. Are you kidding me? Speaking of side-by-sides, I think the city, I'm not sure if it's 100% passed yet, but Sturtz gave an update on the side-by-side ordinances, mm. where if you get them licensed, road ready. licensed mm-hmm. yeah. and I think you got to carry insurance to probably get a permit, you'll be able to drive them on the streets of Rogersville. Because, so like the state laws changed on it, I think a while ago. Yeah mainly directly related to farms and then municipalities 
had to go in and change their ordinances. So you'll probably see more and more of that. Yeah, and I mean, it's a cheaper version of four wheel drive. A lot of if them you have are to have it. more mm -hmm. expensive than people's cars. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> there was one yes. that was I saw that was like twenty six thousand. Yeah. Yes. Like, it's crazy. Kidding? But that's one with like six seats and. Yeah. And it's got like a. It's amphibious. A turbo engine in the back. <laughs> and, what? Yeah. They actually do make amphibious. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Yeah, they do. Sure they do. With a mounted 50 caliber machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> that's a, uh, mine has a mounted 308. That's it's going to have a mounted. Yeah. yeah. I take that. I've never shot a 50 cal, but I'd like to. I have one. You can come over to the house and shoot it. I'd I'd like to do that. I like to, I'd like to shoot one. It's actually one of the easiest guns I have to shoot is my 50 cal. That's cool. Sounds like a K Raj team party. Ooh, that'd be fun. K Raj special. It's a muzzle loader. So <laughs> that's what's awesome is I'd love to see Lauren out there with an old muzzle loader and just pop Damn that rod. sucker oh, off. Come on, let's go. Uh, I'm going to actually, if you want to come out to the house this weekend, we will be shooting the 50 cal. Pew, off. pew, pew. Have you ever seen that video that I don't remember if it's a guy or a gal, but he's got a rifle. And he holds it like a pistol mm. out yes. in front of him. <laughs> Fantastic, yes. I think the end game of that is he get broke his nose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's Look, I'm goes. strong enough to... Was it, I like, I'm strong it, enough or I'm just... I think it's dumb. I, think it's, I, I don't dumb. know how rifles work. Yes. Yeah, I think that's what it was. That's, that's not how rifles amazing. work. Yeah, that's not how rifles Well, we need well, to stop want to show. his shoulder, so... We probably need to shut this down because we've lost over half our viewers at this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goodbye, you all. Thank you for who hung with us through that journey. Man, my mom just called and I ignored it. So sorry, mom. I'm okay. going back in a minute. Anything else before we sign it off, guys? I don't um, know. Stay warm. All right. We'll, we'll see. see you next week. Bye, Bye guys. Bye-bye.